We're gonna be working up high today. We're gonna be ripping out the chimney. This is the mansion that my great-great-grandfather bought for $7,000 nearly a hundred years ago. When I moved in, the property was really ran down. I picked up over a million pounds of scrap metal and then I got to work on residing the house and building a wraparound porch. Once I got that done, I decided I was gonna do a full restoration of the entire 5,550 square foot mansion. So after weeks of demolition and dusty mess of tearing out and destroying the attic, the upstairs, the main floor, the kitchen, the old mortar floor, and get everything picked up, cleaned out, and spray foam insulated. This brings us to today. The peak of my house is 40 feet off the ground. We need to climb up on the roof and start tearing the top of the chimney down inside of the house because that is the last major demolition project that we have to do. I'm not much of a climbing a ladder 40 feet in the air, so we're gonna have Justin grab the telehandler and then we're gonna get started. Are you certified on this? I'm certified. Did you go through the classes? Yep. this morning oh kind of rushing around but we're gonna get it got a grave to dig and got truckers hauling so I don't want them to get ahead of me or I won't have any corn for them to haul out of the overhead and I think Cooper's got some stuff doing so we're kind of jumping around are they going off to get the basket probably we'll need that this used to be Cooper's sled the snowmobile he wasn't very careful driving it, and that's what happened to it. He tried to duct tape it, as you can see, but that didn't hold either. Parker, I gotta go sit by the heater for a while. You have your paperwork, sir? <laughs> Is that what you do to cops? <laughs> I need to warm my hands up. We have a full circus happening right now. Justin bring, bring in telehandler. Cooper dropped off the basket. Is this safe? Oh yeah, it's got a metal bottom. Is the metal bottom is in the same condition as this? <laughs> no. Oh, this beat? <laughs> All right, what? I, I, I have camera in my hands. That's fine, Justin, keep doing Just out to here? Or all yeah. The way? yeah. That doesn't look like it's been used for a while. <sighs> what, this bolt right here didn't work? I can't get it off. Roman could not get that off, are you kidding me? I didn't try, maybe. I haven't tried. I have a camera. This is gonna be excuse of the day, I have a camera. Since Roman's the on-site, non-official, has nothing to do with OSHA supervisor, Apparently we need to get some bolts and chains to chain that basket on the lift. So just in case things get a little rambunctious up there, it stays on the lift. It depends who we have as an operator. You know, they call Justin the ramrod for a reason. Good thing we have this bolt rack super organized. This may not fit through the eye. Is that what it's called? The eye of a chain? I guess. Or it'd be the link. No, you stop scratching your butt on the floor. That's disgusting. Do that outside. Do it. Ellie, get yes. outside. So this is the safety device we are using to hold the basket on the forks in case for whatever reason the operator decided they were gonna fully tilt the basket forward. Just so, just keeping it from sliding off. We got the lift all set up now. Roman's up there, Justin's up by the chimney already. The first thing we need to do is get the top of the chimney down below the roof line. Then we need to get the roof fixed. So it'll basically look like this part of the roof when we get done, there will not be any visible chimney hole from the roof once we get this first part done. Holy cow, Roman. <laughs> Justin got out to inspect what's going on. There's two cavities in this chimney. There's 
actual cinder blocks in the center separating them. For the bricks above the roof line, they are simply just dropping them down on the inside of the chimney. We don't want to destroy the inside insert piece that used to be in the fireplace because somebody may want this. You can see some of the bricks they already dropped down in there. So we're just going to get this out of the way, make sure everything's a-okay. Looks like the ones they dropped, ah, that didn't do any damage. Okay, we're good to go. Justin and Roman are making quick work out of that chimney. It's a little deceptive standing down here because we're looking up. It doesn't look like they're all that high, but when you are up there looking down, it is a rather terrifying experience. And that roof is not a flat roof. Hey Justin, what's the pitch of that roof? 12-12. Well, Justin says it's a 12-12 roof. For every 12 inches over, it goes 12 inches up. So that means the roof is 45 degrees. This chimney job is one of those projects where it's more of a two-man job, especially being way up there at a 45 degree pitch. There's not a lot of room for three people. You're more in the way than you are helpful. So I'm just kind of the, hey Cole, we need something kind of guy. Throw things up to him. I keep an eye on the lift. It settles down a little bit, so I got to keep it off of the fascia of the house, so that way we're not actually accidentally crunching that in. But they're making pretty quick work of this. It's not going to be long before they're down, but in the meantime, I just, I just kind of sit. And as soon as I said that, here comes Sam for a load of corn. So I might as well fill him. What's up, Sammy Sosa? How are we doing? You got a haircut. I did. On the farm, we all have different roles. Stuff we're good at, stuff we're not as good at. One of Dad's roles is keeping all the truckers going, keeping track of loads, and filling them. So today we are doing one of Dad's jobs because he is off taking a break. Yeah, this chimney wasn't sealed up very well. You can see the spray foam that made its way all the way up to here. so much effort just to hold on to it. Are you coming down to give your legs a break or? Yep. Or just lay here. Look at this view. Hey Roman, what are you doing? What are you gonna do about it? I am laying on the roof on the job side. What am I gonna do about it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I might just take the lift away. Justin's already on it, he's smart. It's giving our legs a break. That roof is super deceptive because down here it doesn't look that bad, but you get up there, whew. I've been working hard, Roman. I know what it feels like. You know, if everybody got paid by the hour and it took a really long time to do jobs, everybody would have more money. Just think of all the problems that that would solve. Guys, I just figured out the ticket to this. Since we're doing a bunch of construction around here, I figured, you know what, we're gonna be at this for a while. I am sick and tired of walking back and forth inside the house, grabbing all the tools. Hey, where did I set that? I need this. Roman, can I borrow this from you? Justin, can I use your hammer? Yada, yada. I decided to invest in a set of bags. They just came in. Look at these things. These things are beautiful. Look at that. Got that red leather. Smells like a fresh baseball glove. I gotta figure out how to take my belt and put these on it. We'll get everything fitted. This is the perfect time to do it. The one that's gonna be on my left side is called my tool bag. Since I'm left-handed, I want my tools on the left side. I'll pencil in here, pliers, kind of any little hand tool that I would need that I would use with my dexterous hand. That's gonna go there like that. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
the hammer loop on the front. And then on my right side, I have my fastener bag. So my fastener is just gonna be on my screws, my nails, the, you know, anything I'm gonna be reaching in all the time to grab what I need out. I also have my tape measure on this side because when I pull my tape measure out with my right hand, then I'll have my left hand over here in my tool bag grabbing my pencil. So now I can use both hands. And then I still have my pencil in my hand. I put my tape measure back. I can pull my speed square out of my fastener side. I can make my line. I can put everything back away. And we go right back to work. I didn't know how much I was gonna like this right here because I was concerned about reaching into the bag, but it looks like I got plenty of room, so I don't mind it. I wanted to keep the left side free. Sometimes you can get a pocket up here if you want to, or even the tape measure on this side. First off, I wanted the tape measure on the other side, but I wanted straight shot down, so that way I can just reach in, grab my tools. And what's cool about this one, since it's got a double bell system on the front, the bags don't fall off. You guys need down? Yeah. Yes, sir. We, we were le we were uh, learning Latin. Oh? We were learning Latin while here. Yeah? Justin just taught me uh, Latin beautiful outside. It's gonna be beautimus outsides. No, beautim sorry, I, I butchered it, right? Beautim beautimus outsiders. Oh, I think oh, you are correcto. This is how oh, you oh, learn how Spanish oh. <laughs> becoming very sentimental. Can you not film me, please? What'd you do to John Roman? I didn't do anything. I just looked at him and he's always mad at me. All I have to do is look at him. No problem. As we can see by the gaping wide hole at the top of the chimney in the attic, Justin and Roman got everything above the roof done now. They have to do a little bit more tearing down in here because right at the base of the chimney is still kind of touching the roof. They need to get some clearance down because we're gonna have to build something to cover that hole and then we can get the top shingled. Roman said easy peasy from the inside. <laughs> so easy. You got an eight foot ladder and you just have like another eight feet to go. <laughs> so yeah, it all touches up right there. They gotta get that down. So just so we have room to get the sheeting in there, get boards rebuilt, whatever they gotta do. I really don't know. Justin just says, hey, go give me this, go give me that and be quiet. Hey Cole, did you see where the sledge is? I was looking for it. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I grabbed it on the ground here. What are you doing? It's not, it's for right? Yeah, there, yep. There, it's not broken in yet. much lately it seems like I'm kind of doing other things on the farm they're working on the house so I apologize just haven't been around much but Cooper's kind of doing stuff in the shop so he's keeping machinery and stuff going in and out I've been bouncing a little between the shop and the grain setup over here at Coles keeping the truckers going and stuff right now you just feel like you're giving away corn but is it gonna get better or worse I don't know all right, I guess enough talking, but thank you guys for tagging along and kind of seeing what they're doing. I haven't been to the house a whole lot lately, just walking in. It's totally, totally different. Kind of saddened at times, you know, but I grew up in this house. My dad grew up in this house, died in this house, born in this house, but it's nice to see that Cole and Neva and you know, they're trying to make it their home now. That's the most important thing. You sometimes got to change things to fit your needs. And then after seeing some of the other stuff in here, all things are falling apart and floors getting weighted down and stuff. Probably maybe a good thing they are working on this. I'll let you look at the bad legs of Roman now. Our next step is going to be frame this thing up. We're going to put probably one two by four along this way one two by four on this side on this side 
and a sheet of OSB over it. Look at all this suit. Looks like somebody put tar over it, but it's actually the sap from the trees that got baked into the brick. And I'm pretty sure this chimney is sealed completely with all this stuff. Look, all throughout the years, this stuff just baked in it. But it's not the same thing with the fireplace. This is north side of the chimney and it goes all the way down to the basement. While this side, the south side, is for our fireplace in the second floor. And you can tell that it wasn't used much. It doesn't have, well, it actually looks almost brand new. It's just barely black. While this side, you can tell it's been used heavily. It has this about quarter of an inch thick layer of the suit. It looks like a tar. Someone brushed it, painted with a tar. And obviously this pipe is not original to the chimney. This was installed whenever that water boiler where the heating system was installed. It was just a liner for here. This board is gonna go in the middle of the hole. We're gonna set it here for Justin when he goes up. Hey, making out up here. Not bad. Might have to cut out the old Casey's Donuts. Yeah. All right, Roman, Justin is going to need three quarter inch plywood and another sheet of half inch plywood because I got the three quarter on the bottom, a half inch above that, and then some shingles. So I'm gonna go watch him while you go grab those. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, I got you three quarter inch. Okay, perfect. Well, I'll go then, find a half inch sheet. Then. Where's the half inch? I think it's outside and then I'm gonna run over to Kristen and Rusty's because that's where I have the shingles. Okay, so I, I got my test done. Go and get it, Cole. Okay. Hey, wait a second. Justin's rebuilding the wood pieces that go across right now, like the stud parts. And then we're gonna put the plywood up on top of that and then we'll just shingle everything right up to the peak. House looks a lot different without the chimney sticking out. That is for sure. I think we need to go into this building. At least I hope the right shingles are inside of there. These ones. Oh, I should probably grab some of this ridge cap too. Ridge cap. These shingles are not your typical standard asphalt shingle. On the top, they look like they are, but see how it's got this little like lip thing right here? Oh, that's because the bottom side is actually metal. These are steel shingles. And they just put this on the top and then everything laps together. And so that way you have a metal roof, but it doesn't look like a metal roof. And most importantly, it doesn't sound like a metal roof. Hey, we just gonna stand around and talk or what? That's nice and dusty. We have Justin up in the basket. Cole went to get uh, ply OSB to cover up the section of the roof that we tore out and some shingles to put back on to make it waterproof. The wrong side of the wind. Okay, grab that uh, two by 12. Is this our piece? Yeah. This one? Yeah. And we'll put that on the back of the lift. Sitting down here in the leg. I honestly really don't enjoy being the lift guy because you're not doing anything. I like doing things with my hands. I like stimulating my brain. And sitting here watching everybody else work and you just get told to do things. I, I don't mind the getting told to do things to, you know, to help the team out. But when you're just sitting here, it is kind of boring. But the good news is, once we get this done, then we will be doing more interactive things on the inside of the house. We'll get to use our brains again. So sometimes you just have those parts of a certain job that you don't enjoy doing, but they need to be done. So you do them anyway. That is being the lift guy. Fine.
final piece. I already have it pre-cut. All I need to do is just another side and then we'll put the cap on and we can go home and see our lovely wives. to be touching but not cinching in lucky there Justin Roman got it done you can see a little bit of a color difference between the two but we did the lower part when I was probably like seven years old so that's approaching 20 years of sitting out in the Sun so we're gonna have a little bit of color difference but not nearly as stick outy as I thought it was gonna be. We were a little bit concerned with getting that chimney tore out and getting that whole patch in the roof because, well, we thought it was gonna maybe snow or be super nasty and cold and not so fun to do that, but the weather opened up, gave us a nice warm day, so we were able to get it done before the cold comes back. So you can kind of see it a little bit, but not bad. Good job, Justin Roman. I thought you guys did a really good job. Thank you. Spanx? That ninja warrior. Did you see him on the roof? <laughs> like a spider monkey? Spider monkey, frog, uh, tree frog. You guys see any bats while you're up there? Yeah, there was one, but it was sealed it with was the... petrified. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it got sealed in with the foam. Oh. So he was on the, in between the sheeting and the foam. Couldn't get out. Oh. Just a bad place to hide. Yeah. Just unfortunate for him, for her. But his body was. Yeah, he was. His b buddy. Buddy? Buddy? Body? His body. Other, buddy. Not, not body, but his buddy. His, oh, his buddy. buddy. Was, his body was there, but he was dead probably for several years there. We dated him for two autopsy. years. Autopsy. Yeah, we did an autopsy. <laughs> it was two years prior to his death. Roman, I feel like this is just missing something. Turn on the lights. the lift so booked the last minute flight welcome to jackson hole wyoming jackson hole has the coolest airport i have ever seen that is the airport right there on the horizon this year for zach and i's annual ski trip that we take every year this is zach my old roommate by the way we are at jackson hole wyoming so we're getting some snow right now sounds like a storm coming in tonight we're gonna see if we can get some miles in usually we ski about 20 miles a day so <laughs> Hope Justin and Roman are having fun. I myself am a skier, so these are my skis. I got some, uh, I think they're 184 centimeter skis, and then Zach is a snowboarder, so he's got all the stickers of all the places we've been together. I'm kind of like a skier in a way, you know. I, you know, riding with Cole being a skier and everything. I got these step on, so we can get off the lift and go. He doesn't have to wait like 10 minutes for me to strap in anymore. I'm a snowboarder that identifies as a skier. Oh, that, okay, that explains a lot. <laughs> wow, there is no more chimney. Justin was not messing around. Unfortunately, this morning I couldn't come first thing early because my wife wasn't feeling good. So I came here about noon and then I see this. Justin had already taken the chimney down before I was able to do anything. He put our tele handler basket right in front of this window and he chucked it in there. So now we don't have this chimney here anymore. So the attic floor is down. Now we're on the second floor. Gonna take it down too. As much as I can, I try to keep these pieces intact so then we make less trips 
carrying the single bricks. So we can grab a bucket in one hand and a bigger chunk in the other. Save us trips to the window to dump it. I already showed you this guys before, but I wanted to have an up close look to what the brick is like from the inside. Sealed up and caked in with all this suit and tar. Yeah, I bet this chimney was smoke free being sealed like this. This machine behind me is referred as telehandler in this area. What is it called like where you guys live? The basket is empty and ready to go. Camera seems to be okay. We'll continue on. gonna go down and get ready for Dustin to take this part of the chimney because currently it is serving as a bearing point for our floor joists on the second floor. First floor. Oh uh, yeah. I guess for That's we're gonna go floor. for the floor of the second floor for the ceiling of the first floor go down on the staircase that we have left the other one is gone. Okay, we're all set up. Pick up our tools. And go down. Start on the first floor. To build our T-beam, I'll need a screw gun and T-30 screws. There's a screw gun. time to put the beam up. But, uh... What's that? A swinging light? Yeah. It's definitely a little gnarly outside. You got some uh, pretty strong winds and gusts. You can't see too much. It cools out here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to see up here right now. It's like 35 mile hour winds coming over the top of the mountain. We're getting some snow. It's pretty wide out conditions. Oh, Everything yeah. just looks the same. Yep. We're on what's called the Rendezvous Bowl, which is the highest point of this mountain that we can get to, at least from a lift perspective. So, not a lot of trees up here. Pretty thin air. And about 20 degrees colder up here than at the bottom of the mountain. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We got a little ways down now, so we're protected by some of the hill, but straight off of the lift, literally could not see like five foot in front of you. So uh, yeah, it was a little gnarly, but we're still gonna go ahead, shred over there. You see down there, that one is just whipping. Look it down a little bit further and see how the rest of the conditions are. It's nice to see some new snow in. Yeah, it's beautiful to see the new snow. It's weird up here because you get the wind blowing off some of the fresh stuff, so it's ice, and then you'll go to turn expecting ice, and then it's a pocket of sticky snow, and then it about throws you over. <laughs> yeah, ain't too bad, but we're gonna go ahead and keep rocking here. Your legs good? My legs are great. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh yeah, that's some good snow right there. Much better snow. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't carve back and forth too much at the moment, but it's all good. We'll make our way.
Justin and I decided that it was a successful day. We're ready to go home, see our wives. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's our second day of our endeavor of breaking of breaking the chimney out. And Justin is already furious yeah. because I'm late. We might be done with the chimney today. The basement might take us a little longer to do because we'll have to haul all the bricks up the stairs. But we'll see, maybe we'll come up with some way to save us time. Exciting news, we have a helper here. So, is this your internship, Austin? Yeah. Okay, so for the next 16 weeks, we have my son Austin will be working with us for the first three hours every morning for his internship for school. So he's super excited. <laughs> Keep it so the excitement. The yes. first, first day, we'll be tearing out a chimney and we're excited because he gets to do some of the grunt work. So, awesome. Justin and I are gonna dump the break because Justin needs the moral support and Austin is gonna set up the lights for us. It has brakes, right? We'll find out. <laughs> Who needs brakes? Hey, we get paid by the hour, we can keep her down to 10 mile an hour. Yeah, keep it in the first yep. speed. Yep. And then you just shut the key off and leave it in gear and it'll stop us. Won't it? Hopefully. <laughs> He's empty and we can start again. down this little cliff here and uh coverage isn't great there's like pockets of nice batter but most of the moguls are kind of ice over but you know they don't bother cole he's got that dog you know 
needs to get that dog in on her. There we go. Left turn, right turn. Little pop, he's showing off for you guys. Ow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> feels like I'm a brand new skier out there. <laughs> that is quite a bit different. <laughs> I definitely thought by uh, dipping off into the woods and on the back side of this whole mountain thing that uh, we get a little bit more visibility, but that wind starts whipping, it gets a little crazy. Normally <laughs> you can see like 10 miles away from up here. Yeah. You're seeing like a quarter mile right now. What are Justin and Roman are doing right now? Another thing that we were thinking is to put skid loader in the base, well, in front of the basement window, which would be in front of right that window, or maybe this. We'll see. Change of plans. We're going to put our basket right here in front of the door. Here we go. We're going to be. Breaking from both sides, working around the chimney, picking up trash, all this good stuff. We succeeded in fighting that lump of concrete. I guess it's just mortar. Or maybe it was concrete, I don't know. We were thinking maybe it's all the stuff that was falling in the, inside the chimney when they were laying brick, but who knows, maybe this was intentionally placed in there. But I can't help but just admire this chunk of strength. All this time it was sitting there, it never dried out, and it had decades and decades to cure. So I can only imagine what strength in this concrete is. It's time for it to go. What are Justin and Roman are doing right now? <laughs>
What do you think, Austin? How was your first day? It's all right. <laughs> Look no. at his face. It was easy peasy. It was definitely not easy. Definitely not a clean job. Well, you you are definitely ceremonially anointed. Yep. I think I got <coughs> sick. I'm gonna get sick now. Well, what that's... do you get from this? Like what disease? Or it's a sickness. What is it? Mesophilioma. <laughs> so you said late uh, earlier. That's uh, from. Uh, what is it from? That's a mesophilioma. It's a, it's a commercial. It's from asbestos. Thanks, Cole. Black lung syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Well, there she be. We are done skiing on Jackson Hole. Helicopter, can you please be quiet for a second? Never mind, helicopter, you can be loud as you want. We just drove by them. That was search and rescue. They just picked somebody up from this giant cable, carried them up over the mountains from where they must have been, and they just rescued somebody. So good job, search and rescue team. We got something going on here. They're carrying the torch. Law enforcement, torch run. Carrying the torch. Zach just dropped me off at the airport. So now I'm here waiting in line just in time. They're starting to board everything. Then I have a flight to Denver. Then I'll be in Denver for three hours, and then I'll be home. You have to get on the planes outside here because they don't have connectors up to the front. So the mountain we were skiing in is right behind this big wall of snow. You can see the base right there if you look really close. This airport's so cool. Everybody gets off outside. That's where we were skiing, over there. Oh, I ended up making it home about 2.30 in the morning last night. Let's see how Justin and Roman made out without me. Holy cow, Roman. Did you guys get anything done while I was gone? We tried to, but Justin, all he wanted to do just go home. Justin! That's not true! Okay, I I was pretty upset and I, I didn't have motivation to work, so I just was dragging my feet and wanted to go home. But Justin, as a good coach, he pulled me out of this den and... Here I am. So Justin, Roman, and Austin got the chimney completely out. I have a sunburnt nose and sunburnt cheeks. <laughs> I had a really good vacation. So thank you, Justin, Roman, and Austin for getting that stuff done while I was off just horsing around. But this is all we got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.